Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This video covers everything you need to know before taking the CPTS. For those who don't know, CPTS is the Certified Penetration Tester Specialist Certification offered by Hat the Box Academy. The Penetration Tester Your World Path is specifically designed to prepare you for this certification and is one of the best courses I've completed. Before taking CPTS, I also passed the OSCP and OSEP certifications. While CPTS doesn't cover defense evasion, its lab complexity, exam duration, and repo requirements make it a much more realistic and challenging experience. With that said, I consider CPTS to be an intermediate level certification. As some of you may know, there are different ways to purchase the course material. The most cost effective option is to use the student subscription, which requires a university email. This subscription not only unlocks the CPTS course, but also grants access to all Hard the Box Academy modules up to Tier 2, including the Book Bunny Hunter and Shock Analyst Your Road Paths. If you don't have a university email, you can opt for one month of the Gold subscription, followed by a month of the Platinum subscription to accumulate enough cubes to purchase the course. Please note that exam vouchers are included only with annual subscription plans and need to be purchased separately. Each voucher includes two exam attempts and the total cost including vouchers ranges from 220 to 300 euros. For obvious reasons, I won't get into the specifics of the exam, but I can share some general information. Before taking the exam, you must first fully complete the CPTS course. The exam consists of 14 flags worth a total of 100 points. You have 10 days to complete it and many people, including myself, find that they need both attempts to pass. To be considered by the candidate for certification, you must collect at least 12 flags and submit a professional grade report. The report template is publicly accessible and is more demanding than other certifications. It requires an executive summary, detailed walkthroughs, technical findings, details, and additional components. My first piece of advice is to use the palm box whenever you need it. If you don't have a NASA supercomputer or your connection isn't stable, the palm box will not only save you plenty of time, but also prevent false negatives. Keep in mind that the palm box provided for the exam is different from the standard one, and it has a lifespan of 7 days. My second advice is to not give up during the entire duration of the exam. If you are used to all the exams that last between 1 and 4 days, facing a 10 day one and trying to rush through it without taking any breaks will not only damage your confidence but also lead to complete failure. That's exactly what happened my first attempt, where I ended up with a total of 0 points. The third tip is to stick to the course material. Ultimately, every certification exam is just a test to prove your skills from a course. The CBTS course is massive, so make sure to take detailed notes and review them frequently to increase your chances of success. The fourth tip is to learn how to use this lever and legal NG. Sliver is an open source C2 framework and Ecology is another open source tool that simplifies pivoting. The course will teach you how to use Metasploit, but I prefer using Sliver whenever possible. Although it has some limitations in crafting payloads, it makes all the tasks much easier, letting you focus on the key areas of the exam. The intro to C2 operations with Sliver module from Hadbox Academy covers everything you need to have a strong grasp. Note that this module is not required to pass and includes tactics and techniques that are out of scope, such as OPSEC and bypassing LSA protection. On the other hand, LegalNG is an excellent tool for pivoting. I discovered its true potential after completing Dante, where I needed to perform multiple pivots to compromise the network. My final piece of advice is to attempt the Attacking Enterprise Networks module blindly. The AEM module is designed to prepare you for the exam, and many certificate holders recommend approaching it without any external help to fully test your skills. After completing the CPTS, I also finished the Book Bunny Hunter Your World Path, which is the CBBH course and overlaps with over 50% of the CPTS content. Additionally, I started the Senior Web Penetration Tester Path, which is the CWEE course. Honestly, I'm having such a great experience with this. I'm like a kid with a new present. Automating blind exploitation by creating Python scripts and learning advanced web exploitation techniques is awesome and I highly recommend it. The script you are seeing right now is the kind of thing you will need to create for the course. This is a POC in Python to exploitate information from a MongoDB database on Mango, a retired medium at the box machine. There will be a link in the description to the section of my blog where you can access the code if you're interested. 
And that said, I really hope you found this video useful and learned something new. If so, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and happy hiking to everyone.